we meet again so this uh, episode or this video we're going to talk about hyperlinks okay so what is hyperlinks all right what is hyperlinks so links are found in nearly all web pages okay links allow users to click their way from page to page or from document to documents all right so html links are we call also we call it as hyperlinks that you can click and uh, on the link and jump to another document or from place to place on, you know, online okay so when you move the mouse over a link the mouse arrow will turn into a little hand like this one okay like this one well okay this one this pointer right so a link does not uh, necessarily be a text okay a link can be image or any other html elements such as icon all right and under any other elements okay so hyperlinks start with uh, this syntax all right so switch to uh, text editor so this is the basic of a hyperlink so it start with a syntax okay it defines uh, hyperlinks all right and it can uh, it has the following syntax all right hash hyper href which is hyperlink reference so the most important attribute of the a element okay this one is the href attribute okay which indicate the links destinations okay the url of the destination the link text is the part that will be visible to the reader okay clicking clicking on the link text will send the reader to the specified url address so we're going to look into the complete hyperlink syntax okay a hyperlink reference equal to the url for example we're going to look uh, using internal link uh, okay contact contact dot html and contact me slash a okay so right so this is the complete the complete hyperlink syntax to make sure user click on this text to jump full to jump to contact dot html okay so for this lessons we're going to create a complete website okay so a complete website that includes several pages and then we're going to use this syntax hyperlink syntax and other uh, kind of hyperlinks such as external links internal links okay how to uh, trigger the links to open a new tab or new uh, windows browser and so on all right to do this we're going to uh, create extra pages okay we're going to uh, create extra pages and we're going to link each of them each other using this html hyperlink syntax okay so we're going to create uh, one what you call it as you know okay this is an example of what we're going to use all right so the sitemap first uh, to create a website okay we're going to draw a sitemap all right this is an example of sitemap that we're going to use okay roughly okay for example we have home here all right and then from home we're going to navigate to okay do we have any smart objects insert smart object smart art list we have any hierarchy here no oh, yeah hierarchy we have hierarchy okay we're going to use uh, one of here yes this one all right delete this one okay we have this one all right so extra how do extra okay one 
from here plus plus okay. make it okay all right so from here we have home okay this one maybe we can have uh, bio data okay this one okay large okay bio data and here we can say we have at uh, this page uh academics all right this one experience okay this one maybe uh educations <coughs> plus one okay and we have contact okay so now from home we have biorata academics experience education and contact so using hyperlinks from home a uh, user can jump to page academics and jump from academics can jump to uh, contact and vice versa they can jump to each pages okay independently okay to do this okay to do this we're going to create a project file okay we're going to go to our main project file and we're going to create a new folder we're going to create a new working folder, name it as Hyperlinks Tutorial. Okay, Hyperlinks Tutorial. So, in here, we're going to include all of the, all of our pages. Okay, including home page, which is index. We're going to include these pages inside these working projects. Okay, so open up Sublime. Okay, clear up this one. Now. We're going to create another features of Subline, which is view sidebar and show sidebar. So by using uh, using the, this by using these uh, features, uh, remove folder from project. Okay. So using the features, alright, you can drag your working project here. Okay. Drag it here. Okay. Drag and drop. Drag and drop. So make sure the folders. Uh, for this section you have this hyperlinks tutorial similar to what you have in your project folder so by using this every files that you all allocate inside this root folder which is the, in this uh, project folder will be displayed in this sidebar all right so for example from this moment all right you're going to save it as okay locate your file project file hyperlink tutorial okay save this one as index.html okay so this is our uh, home page okay index page save see see the index file that you have been saved uh, previously has been allocated inside hyperlink tutorial this is our main project okay so look at windows explorer or your finder you have hyper tutorial and you have similar page okay you have similar content displayed in your sublime navigator here all right so index html i'm going to create html text all right so title will be hyperlink tutorial okay so hyperlink tutorial in this body section i'm going to create headings uh, home page of hyperlink tutorials okay so that's it save all right save and execute this one display in browser okay, you have home page of hyperlink tutorial now to create links okay to create links first the, uh, looking back at our sitemap you have done index page 
okay and then you have another five pages to be created before you're going to create a link so that we can see how the links working to link each of this document okay so now we're going to create another five pages all right so create new file new file or control n command n you can create new file okay file save as okay inside the same project save it as biorata.html okay and we're going to recreate another four pages according to our slides here okay Okay, done for Biorata page. Okay, now Biorata. We're going to create academics. File, save as. Okay, academics.html. Save. HTML, academics. Alright. So just copy. page and create new save it okay file save as save as experience dot html okay html experience is it Alright, save it. Okay, create new. What more? Okay, we have education. Not yet. Okay, so file save as save it as educations.html. Save it. HTML education. So, education page, save and create new, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, last one is contact, okay, save as, contact.html, save, alright, so html, contact me, body, we're going to use contact page. So you have six pages, okay, starting from your homepage, and another five pages extra, right? So, looking at your working project, you have also you have one, two, three, four, five, six, okay. So experience pages and other pages is working, uh, working correctly. Education, contact pages, alright, biodata page and academic page everything is working correctly okay now we're going to link uh, this project by clicking on index first okay this is our home page okay so to create a link our first link we're going to a okay hyperlink reference okay a hyperlink reference equal to which link that we're going to uh, go okay so we're going to go for uh, Biorata. Okay, Biorata. So this is a text that user going to click. So click on Biorata, go to Biorata page. So what is the name of this file? Okay, so enter here. Biorata.html. Okay, save. So for sure. This page, this simple hyperlinks is going to work 
okay so go to index file and we have these hyperlinks right click and go to biodata page but now in this biodata page we doesn't have any links that accommodate user to go to index file unless they're using back pages but if this is not practical okay using hyperlink will enable user to navigate freely in our website so we're going to create another hyperlink for our pages all right so now go to for biodata and a hyperlink reference go to what after biodata we have uh, education.html all right so education a hyperlink reference equal to which location uh, education maybe academics academics dot html academics slash a and we have a have reference equal to was it experience experience dot html all right and experience all right and last but not least is contact me okay all right a uh, happening reference equal to contact what is it contact html contact dot html and user we're going to click contact me okay save so you have on your index file or on your home page you have a complete link okay complete link contact me go to contact page okay academics go to academic page experience go to experience page and so on okay so add one extra page so that uh, once you go to education go to index page so we have it doesn't have index page here so place one on top a hyperlink reference okay equal to index.html okay cool. okay so is it is it okay for index go to index file that's okay because home page can also be go to home page all right home page go to home page it's okay all right to make sure every files okay every uh every page that have the correct links okay we're going to copy and paste these links all right go to biorata all right enter save in academic save and experience education and contact page save okay now every of uh, each of these pages have the same menu okay click biorata biorata page education academic experience and contact me so from contact me we going to go to education yes you can okay from education can go to experience from experience can go to home and vice versa okay this is the fluidity of uh, hyperlinks or navigation structure this is a basic navigation structure uh, that uh, links and bring user from document to another document right hope this helps all right now uh the hyperlinks does doesn't uh, necessarily be a text right to create another file for example you're going to you're going to use a contact page okay we're going to use contact page all right oh okay so this this is a uh, exclamation mark and dash dash is the notes eh? okay using image as hyper hyper links okay dash dash cloud okay so this is not will not display to browser this is only for developers only all right notes here so that you use this to take notes 
in your uh, codes okay so we are going to use uh, image as uh, hyperlinks okay click on this that image and user can go to uh, that page instead of using normal text okay so to do that we're going to create a new image folder as usual okay and i have downloaded uh, social icons here as an image okay so where is it okay there's no icons here is it hyperlinks okay put back development Okay, copy this one. Right, back to our project. Hyperlink tutorial, images. Okay, put it here. So I have already downloaded a few uh icons, or we call it image. Okay, images that we're going to use as a sample in our hyperlinks. Image has hyperlinks. All right. So we're going to use, for example, in contact page, uh, you can you going to include your social media page, alright. So to do this, alright, simple hyperlink reference, go to, alright, go to Facebook example, okay, Facebook dot com, alright, okay, Facebook save all right go to contact me facebook you have another uh, oh we're going to create another paragraph okay save sorry okay all right Let's click so file not found okay file not because of what because of this facebook.com is not internal links or internal document this is external document okay external link we're going to include the working protocol here dot okay save okay okay to make sure the link open a new tab instead of our on our uh, current website is to add target equal to underscore blank so it will going to create a new tab okay save okay again create new tab while maintaining on maintaining our website view all right okay so now mm -hmm -hmm. so now we previously we have using already used text as our link now we're going to use image all right we're going to use fb icon here so to do that we're going to replace this text to our image okay to do that remember uh, previous uh, lesson we're going we have uh, learned about how to insert image on uh, in our website or in our uh, web document same syntax okay img src okay source will be the folder name slash Look at here, fb icon dot webp. Okay, fb dash icon dot webp. Okay, that's it. Okay, that's it. Now we have image as a link. Save and we're going to refresh. Wow, very large button. Okay, click. Yes, go to go to Facebook. All right. So we're going to resize this page, okay, with equal to 50 pixel. Save. And we have a very nice Facebook icon here. Okay. Now we're going to look, uh, we're going to create another link by using IG, mail and telephone icon. Okay. So we're going to, okay, I'm going to create hyperlink reference equal to https dot instagram 
Okay, this is the clam.com slash specific to Pfizer. I mean, okay, so you can create a dedicated go to your document. Okay, okay, settle here. Okay, target is underscore blank to make sure it goes to a new page. Okay, now user we're going to click. Uh, click on this image okay images slash what is it ig icon dot png ig dash icon dot png okay so that's it no the width width will be similar to this one 50 pixel width and that's it slash a okay that's it okay save and we have Instagram pages. Click, go to my Instagram. Okay. All right. Now, instead of we going to use internal, this one is internal link, and this is external link. Okay. So we're going to use another types of link is to trigger email function from your a laptop or from your machine. Okay. By using mail. Two, okay by using mail to all right so we're going to uh, create a hyper reference okay so the syntax will be mail to okay mail to mail to who okay so maybe mail to my email okay and that's it okay so click what to email to for example email save okay all right refresh so email click on this link see it will trigger email application okay so with my email here so that so that user can directly send to my email without revealing email on your website here okay to use it to use image uh, as a link just replace this text as as a previous lesson img src image source equal to which uh, url okay mail icon okay. images slash mail icon dot png is it png okay so that's it and with with 50 pixel okay image source okay nice all right contact me all right click yeah same same things okay email now uh, another one is telephone okay this one works best if user browse your website okay using mobile phone okay reference equal to tel okay telephone Okay, telephone. So you must include your country code. We want zero two two zero six four six. All right. So telephone. Save. So by right, if this one is work best if user browse your website through mobile phone, click on telephone. It will trigger your phone to call this number. Okay, to call this number directly. Alright. Okay, so change it to image. IMG SRC images slash uh, telephone dash icon dot p no dot jpg. Alright, where is it? dot gpg kiss with 
width is 50 pixel width save and we have our icon here call click to call okay now we're going to stylize our default link colors all right so this is a default links colors that we have uh blue okay unvisited link is underlined and blue okay a visited link will underline and purple an active link is underlined and red in color okay that is default uh links okay so now we're going to stylize our menus here our links okay so looking that we have every hyperlink reference that attached to every pages then this time we're going to using css okay okay now we're going to create another folder here name it as css okay so we have learned css before and it's going to be very easy for you to follow so create another folder for a uh, css and we're going to create another file okay and name it as style.css in folder css okay style css save it in folder css save okay in your subline okay so we have your root folder you have css folder you as images folder so everything is in this looking at this folder structure okay you follow this folder structure and follow my tutorial and you can have this uh, basic navigation structure all right so uh, you have styles as s and so test eh? we're going to test body background color we got to test uh, the connection okay that's it by color orange now go to index and um, title we're going to create link relation okay style sheet okay happy reference equal to css slash Dot CSS. That's it. Save and we're going to test. Is it working? It's working. Okay. So now this syntax of external CSS, we're going to copy and paste them inside each of our pages. All right from biodata academics experience education and context okay so make sure you paste these links uh, css external link inside each of our pages and make sure you save them all okay so that every pages will have similar background orange all right but this is just testing eh? this is the, the the easier way to test your css connection using background all right so now we're going to use it likely is it okay light gray is it applicable safe okay light gray is on all right so now to test all right so a uh, link so uh hyperlink have three items okay three variable all right so looking back so we have new slide okay now so insert text box okay so in hyperlinks we have three variable that we're going to change in terms of design okay so we have the link itself and we have the visited link okay visited link and we have hover state okay this is the these are the states okay that applicable in 
every hyperlink so remember you have link that you the link and visited link and hover link this hover state all right so we're going to create a okay we select a okay we choose link okay we choose link all right so the color will be maybe you can say green okay and background color maybe you can say uh color green background color uh, maybe you can say like blue okay okay so text decoration text decoration is the underline or not eh? okay set none so we will remove the uh, text decoration okay refresh so we have uh, there are no underlines here okay you have this good looking uh, good looking menu okay if you don't want to use background color it's okay save okay, it's good eh? it's good there are no background uh, there are no underline it's good so looking clean here okay so for link we have link and we have visited all right so make sure color for visited color for visited link will be um, orange okay background color make it um, red okay and text decoration make it none no underline okay save oh every time so this uh, every every pages that uh, you have been visited okay will trigger orange in color all right so make sure all right so now hover okay hover state so every hyperlink okay for hover state below hover eh? use it hover 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 cut hover the link a big color will be um, what kind of color we're going to choose orange maybe you're going to choose uh uh red so background color okay test okay background color um, make it transparent and text decoration underline okay save all right save so once you hover okay hover it will display okay so now background color so make it um Mm, make it so color with red background color try pink okay save over you have background color there okay very nice okay so the color is up to you this is just a demonstration only all <laughs> right so for active okay every hyperlink active hyperlink will display okay so color uh, for okay, maybe you want to choose uh, green okay maybe green all right and background color for active um maybe yellow right all right and tag decoration is underline save okay active all right so basically if your page is active okay you're on that page yeah it will highlight that item all right so that's it okay so we're going to create uh, another one you can choose to create buttons you can change button using css 
Alright, so we can going to combine. We're going to combine link and visited. Okay, link and visited. We're going to combine. Alright. Okay, delete this one. We're going to combine. Okay. Okay, we're going to combine. Okay. So, background color. We're going to choose background color. Uh, make it make it light blue or make it orange try okay and color for the color text we're going to choose white and we're going to choose padding so padding is what we call uh, okay so padding padding is uh, the space between your text okay so padding okay from top here all right so like this one okay like this one this is padding padding top padding bottom padding left and padding right okay so now we're going to create padding uh, 15 pixel that's it okay save see you have padding okay so if you increase the size maybe 30 so the button will be larger okay it depends on your preferences and design okay and 15 or 16 is quite good all right that's it okay all right nice so hover i'm going to change the hover to yellow hover i'm going to choose this yellow to make it blend all right see okay that's nice okay that is nice all right so text align you can choose to make a uh, text alignment okay text align text align make it center okay and place display in line block okay save Okay, that is nice touch. Okay, you can also can uh, text. Okay, for family, make it a runner. Okay, that is nice. See. Okay, you can have a nice menu right now. Okay. So, that's it. So, uh, make sure you guys have recreate, you, you guys create uh, this tutorial. Okay, follow this tutorial. Make sure you follow the correct for the structure. And if said uh, something wrong, for example, you have this kind of errors okay where is it is it from Birata? from Birata, go to index okay find not found okay check your check the, the way we're going to troubleshoot is to check your url first okay see this url is not correct okay hdl okay check your typo okay check this file okay is it correct uh, file name with your file name here okay make sure it refers to the correct file name okay okay that's it i uh, hope you guys can follow this tutorial and hope it helps in your project okay thank you